Hey everyone, welcome to Booster Tutor. I'm Brennan. As most of us know, Hascon just happened, and something very exciting they did was they revealed all of Iconic Masters. And how did they do this? By having a sealed event. So Iconic Masters is basically just another master set, a lot of reprints, all reprints. But um, it's not coming out until November. And at Hascon, they just, you know, could sign up, do some sealed events, make decks, do all that, basically like a very, very early pre-release. And I got some packs. So, you know, you didn't have to play, I guess. And uh, on eBay, people were selling some packs, six of them, bought them. So we're gonna do some cracker packs. I'm gonna open this up on camera just to show because what they did was on the corner of the packs, they cut it off basically, I guess. So you couldn't say you had sealed product that it had been opened. So I'm a little iffy on if it's been searched or anything. So we're gonna open up to see if you could see what the card was or not, whatever, it doesn't really matter because we're all just here for the crack packs to see the cards. And remember, after we're done this month, if you donate $2 or more to my Patreon, patreon.com slash boostertutor, you can win everything I open. So I had six packs of Iconic Masters, you know, a month early, so pretty cool. So hopefully we get something good. Let's see. All right, here we go, here's the package. Unopened. Open it for the first time here. Yeah, it comes undone. Don't even need that. Okay. Oh man. Ooh. All right. So we got our. What they're all dragon? That's weird. Oh, there's an Elshorn. Hey, okay. so our six packs, as you can see, they have been cut. I wonder if you can. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see if we can figure out. You can tell it's green. It's something. So maybe. I don't know. They could have been searched. I don't know, but. That only matter because we're doing cracker packs, which is always fun, and we get to see us two months early. So, as you can see, all of them have the little thing. We're gonna do two of them. Let's see how this goes. Let's start with this one. All right, first off, Student of Ojutai. Three and a white for a 2-4. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you gain two life. Eh, it's okay. It was good during cons for the prowess deck, but I don't know if there's any prowess in this. So. Not going to first pick that. Elusive Spell Fist. One and a blue for a 1-3. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, Elusive Spell Fist gets plus 1 plus 0 until the turn and can't be blocked this turn. So, once again, really good in the prowess deck. Don't know if that's going to be a deck in this, but not going to first pick that. Rot Feaster Maggot, four and a black for a three five. Insect, whenever it enters the battlefield, exile tar creature card from a graveyard, you gain life to the equal set card's toughness. So, you know, it's okay for late game. It's a good blocker, gains you some life. Not gonna first pick it though. And it's very exciting because it's a three five. Dustdell Worm, five green green for a seven seven with trample. Hey, late game, I'll take that. I mean, <laughs> can attack for a lot, can block almost anything, and when it attacks, it can't get jump blocked because, you know, it's just going to trample everything, so not bad, actually. It used to be a, uncommon, too, I think. Disenchant, one and a white, instant destroy target artifact or enchantment, cyborg card, I'd say, unless it's like a heavy enchantment set. Claustrophobia, one blue blue, enchantment aura, enchant creature, when there's a battlefield, tap enchant creature, and enchant creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. So it's a blue removal, basically, uh, card just sits there and does nothing. It's it's good. Um, I don't know if it's gonna hold up in a set like Iconic Masters if everything's like super powerful. But and it's double blue, which kind of sucks. But when blue needs it, it needs it, and it does the job. Scion of Ugin, six mana for four four flyer. Uh, I would take this in sealed. Like I'd be happy with this because a four four flyer in the air or just a four four with flying is great. Six mana is a little bit much, but it is colorless, so it can go in any deck. Uh, don't know draft. I'm not going to take it highly unless I have a really late game deck. So. Phyrexian Rager. 
two and a black for a two two. When it enters the battlefield, you draw a card and you lo lose one life. So three mana for a two two, not exciting, but you do get to draw a card and you lose only one life. So it's kind of worth it, I think. I like it. I'm not gonna first pick it though. Nature's claim. Destroy target artifact enchantment. Its controller gains four life. Okay, another sideboard card uh, for green, and it's only one and instant, so that's good. Its controller gains four life. It doesn't really matter too much, but yeah, sideboard card sadly. Splatter Thug, two and a red for a two two. Has first strike and has unleash. Unleashes. Um, you may have this creature in a battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on it. It can't block as long as it has a plus one plus one counter on it. So three mana for a two two isn't exciting, but Three mana for a three three of first strike that can't block is great. That first strike does so much. Really good in the aggressive deck. I like this card a lot. I think it used to be uncommon too. I can't remember, but yeah. Here we go, uncommons. Dragon Tempest. One in a red for an enchantment. Whenever a creature with flying enters a battlefield under your control, it gains haste until end of turn. Whenever a dragon enters the battlefield under your control, it deals X damage to target creature or player, where X is the number of dragons you control. So it's cheap, which is nice. But, I mean, it only cares about flying, and then it really only cares about dragons, and you have to have multiples of those. So I'm not going to first pick this. I, if I'm in a, like a heavy dragon deck, yeah, I'll totally take this. If I have a few flyers, I uh, don't really think it's worth it just to give them a haste. So yeah, I'm not going to first pick that. Angelica Cord, three and a white. Enchantment, the beginning of each end step. If you gain four or more life this turn, create a 4-4 white angel creature token with flying. So... Four mana for enchantment that doesn't do anything until you gain life is not great if you're in a like very heavy life in deck that can have this trigger like every turn it's amazing but you really have to draft around it and i don't know if it's even that possible in the set yet so i'm not gonna first pick this even like if i knew like oh yeah you can you know maybe get like, a life in deck it's still i don't know four four flyers are great though. that's all i gotta say Ooh, nauseous dragon Four black black for four four. It's dragon. Whenever it has flying, and whenever it dies, you may destroy target creature with command mana cost three or less. Yeah, this card's amazing. Six mana four four flyer, as we said before, is fine. Uh, the flying is it great, of course. Um, whenever it dies, and you get to destroy a uh, creature. Yeah, that's really good. So I really like this card. The very first pickle, but our rare is so Lotus Cobra. Two and a green, creature snake, landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may add one mana of any color to your mana pool. And it's a two one. And, okay, so first off, used to be a mythic. It's rare now. Card's amazing. Um, standard is great. Can't remember if it's great in draft, but I mean, it's two mana for a two one. I mean, that's fine if you're gonna attack. But every time you drop a land, you get another mana. Yeah, that of any color, so good. Fixes, ramps, great card. You're gonna first pick that and diminish. One blue target creature has base power and toughness plus or one one until end of turn. Um, it's a blue like combat trick basically. I've never really ever played with it too much. Uh, it can get you sometimes, but no, yeah, not very excited about it. And uh, monk token. So this is a pretty easy pick. Um, Dusk Delworm. No, sorry. Uh, let's see here. So Cosphobia. Fine removal. If I'm already in blue, I'm not gonna first pick it. Splatter Thug, very good for aggressive. I like the card, but mm, no. So it's between a dragon or the Lotus Cobra. Dragon's nice, 4-4 four, four flying uh, for six is, you know, about what you'd pay and has a little upside when it dies. But Lotus Cobra can just get out of hand. Dude, it's just so good, so good. So I'm gonna take that. And then our, our last pack for this Kraken pack. Okay, Hammer Hand. One red, enchantment aura, enchant creature. When there's a battlefield, target creature can't block this turn. Enchant creature gets plus one, plus one, and has haste. So this card was like kind of a beast in the aggressive deck when it was originally around, because it's just, it's cheap. It makes any creature tougher and makes another creature can't block. So your creature's gonna get through without having too much to worry about. Really depends on if there is an aggressive deck in Iconic Masters, but it's a pretty good card. But I'm not going to first pick it. Ooh, a Doom Traveler. One white for a 1-1. One, one. And when it dies, you make a 1-1 one, one spirit token with flying. Uh, this card doesn't look exciting, but it gets the job done a lot because it's just a 1-1 one, one that can chump block, and then you get a flyer. So pretty good. Don't know if I'm going to first pick it, but it's something like when it comes around, I'm in white. I'm like, yeah, totally take this. 
Virulent Swipe. One black for an instant. Target creature gets plus two plus zero oh and gains death touch until end of turn. And as rebound, rebound is if you cast this spell with from your hand, exile it as it resolves. At the beginning of your next upkeep, you may cast this card from exile without paying its mana cost. So like what we do is you'd play this and then you put it on top of your library, just so you remember, because a lot of times you'd forget. Uh, like, you know, facing up, of course. So black um, combat trick, a very good one, because it's going to kill whatever is blocking it or it blocks. The rebound is okay because they'll see it coming, so you can't really use it as a combat trick. You're just using it for basically the power bump and maybe just, you know, the death touch to just get through. So a fine card, good combat trick. I like it. Not got first pick though. Ivy Elemental, X and a green for a 0 0. Well, better be good. When there's a battlefield, or sorry, it enters a battlefield with X plus one, one, plus one counters on it. I mean, I guess. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's just a big dumb creature. Now I'm good. Ooh, there you go. It used to be uncommon. Draconic Roar. One in a red, instant. As an additional cost to cast Draconic Roar, you may reveal a dragon card from your hand. Draconic Roar deals three damage to target creature. If you reveal the dragon card or control the dragon as you cast it, it deals three damage to that creature's controller. So, two mana to do three damage to target creature. Sorry, did I say two mana? Yeah, two, one in red for to do three damage to target creature. Pretty good. Um, don't, I mean, Icon Masters is going to hold up. It looks like, because this looks like a lot of modern stuff, so this is fine. Uh, then if you have a dragon in your hand or the battlefield, it does three damage to target for to the player. That's really good. I mean, that's first pick to me. Yeah, Shimmering Grotto, land, tap, add colors to your mana pool, pay one tap, add one mana being colored to your mana pool. I don't like this card because mainly the it's paying two mana right i guess not two but it's just it doesn't work out the way you want it to <laughs> like <sighs> say you have five mana and you have a five mana card in your hand but you need double red well, this card's not going to help you out because you're paying the extra and you're losing a mana just to try and fix it doesn't it i don't like it i don't like it i'm sorry Uh, Mindstone, two colorless for an artifact, tap, add colorless to your mana pool, pay one, tap, sacrifice it, draw a card. I mean, it's a cheap ramper, it's fine, I like it, do the draw a card one you don't need anymore, yeah, it's fine. Just put it over here, since this pack's looking kind of eh. Radiant Fountain, Fountain, Fountain. Uh, land, when Radiant Fountain enters the battlefield, you gain two life, tap, add colorless to your mana pool. No, I mean, it is... Gaining two life when it comes to Ember Battlefield worth just only color tapping for colorless? No. Dirkwood Bailoth, four green green for a five five. Suspend five for one green. So this basically suspend is rather than cast this card from your hand, you may pay a green and exile it with five time counters on it. At the beginning of your upkeep, remove a time counter. When the last is removed, cast it without paying its mana cost, it has haste. So Pay a green, it goes into the exile zone with five counters on it. Each upkeep those go away, and they'll come into play when they're all gone with haste. Um, sometimes they're good, uh, usually when they have like a flyer or some kind of ability. For just a 5-5, five five, that's fine, but not very excited about it. If there's a flyer, I'd be much more excited. Dress. Huh, that dress had different art. Maybe that was standard, I don't remember. Uh, one black for a sorcery. Target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose a non-creature, non-land card from it. That player discards that card. Uh, I'm not very excited by Duress. Maybe once in a while I'll play it if I know they have some kind of non-creature, non-land bomb. Um, but a lot of times it's just going to whiff or not be very exciting. Blade Wing Thrall. I like that art. Two black black for a zombie. Uh, it has flying as long as you control a dragon. Okay, so four mana for a 3-3. Three, three. That could have flying. And when a dragon enters the battlefield, you may return Blade Wings Thrall from your graveyard to the battlefield. Jeez. Okay, that's really good. <laughs> the four mana for a 3 3 is, you know, not exciting. It's a hill giant. But if you have a dragon, it has flying, so a 3 3 5 for 4, that's good. And then if a uh, dragon enters the battlefield, you just return it from the graveyard to your hand? Or for, to the bat, sorry, from your graveyard to the battlefield? If it's your hand, it'd be like, oh, that's okay, but to the battlefield's amazing. So yeah. First pickable indeed. What is that? Cephalid Broker? Three and a white, or sorry, three and a blue for a 2-2. Two, two. Ugh. 
Let's see. Tap target player draws two cards and discards two cards. No, I don't like that. I mean, this is like if you're just trying to filter through cards because you're trying to dig for your answer or like your bomb or something. I like that art though. But um, yeah, I'm not excited by this card. If I'm playing sealed or something and I have a like real dirty deck, yeah, totally play this card. But I'm not very excited about it. Turn four, do I want to play a 2-2 that next turn can maybe filter me some cards? I mean, really depends on my deck. Sultai Flare, three and a green for a 3-4. Naga Shaman, whenever a creature you control with toughness four greater dies, you gain four life. Uh, this guy's fine. Th four mana for a 3-4 is like, okay, he's a good blocker. Uh, whenever he dies, you gain four life. And if you have a bunch, like if you're basically a green deck with a bunch of big butts, yeah, you gain life like quite a bit, or at least when things die. So he's just like a fine card. You're not gonna first pick it, but if it comes around and you're in green, ah, totally take it. And our rare is, ooh, wait, no, ew. River of Tears, uh, tap, add a blue tier mana pool. If you play a land this turn, add black tier mana pool instead. Sorry, I saw dual colors and got excited, but no. Uh, this is like the worst of the dual color lands. It taps for blue, so if you're playing a blue deck, you're gonna play it no matter what. Uh, because it's only going to play tapped or anything. There's no downside. And, but the fact that you don't know if you're going to be able to play the black or not really sucks. So, yeah. I'm not going to first pick this. But if I'm a blue deck that comes around, I'm like, sure. But I'm not going to rely on for, for black. And our foil. Ooh, that's a nice art. And foil. Angel of Mercy. Four and a white. Creature Angel flying. When Angel of Mercy enters the battlefield, you gain three life. Yeah. That's fine. Um... Four mana, or five mana for a 3-3 flyer is, you know, not exciting, but can get the job done sometimes. You gain a little bit of life. Not going to first pick it, though. So, ooh, that was not an exciting pack at all. All right, so you got Mind Stone, which I think is fine, but I'm not going to first pick it. So you have a removal. I have a creature that's pretty good, and if you're taking it first, you can draft, like, dragons if you need to, if they come around. They're both dragon cards. Um, so, ooh, I don't know. That's a hard one. Because this guy can kill this. If you have a dragon, just comes... I think I'll take this. Just a recurring creature that can have flying for four mana. Yeah, that's really good. But it's... I mean, that's really good removal, too. So, yeah. Blade Wings Thrall. All right. All right. Lowe's Cobra. That's pretty cool. Uh, River of Tears, not so much. So, after opening a couple of packs, um, did you ever draft cons? Because if not, apparently you get to again. Because that was a lot of cons cards. Cons cards. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm really hoping it's not just a reprint set where they're like, here's some stuff we really need to reprint. And we just threw in a lot of cards from a fun draft set and hope it meshes well together. Because, I mean, yeah, you want some cards that care about dragons. But there's a lot of dragon cards from the past you could have gotten. Just, it felt like there's a ton of cons in there. I don't know. Hopefully. Hopefully it's a fun draft set. Anyway, if you want to follow me on Twitter, booster underscore tutor, and see you next draft!